How many times have I told you, you do not go there alone? But... I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? If something happened to you, we would lose everything. <gasps> Tyrea? Melia! Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis? Tyrea's your big sis. Right. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea. I didn't expect to see you here, helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well... Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters, then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters, we are not. Hmm. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? Hmm? I've only known her here, in this place, so I gotta wonder how she was before. She... she was... She was strong. Both in body, and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. Pretty much the same as how she is now, then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Fog King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Before the Fog King showed up? Yeah, and then... After we all escaped, I was kind of on my own, so Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Teelan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Is that so? I'm sorry. Teelan, just like Kino. Brave little pun. I think I'll get some air, too. Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Teelan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. It shan't be long. Miss Melly, Kino go too! Kino, please read room. Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here, how did you... Pure chance. After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia. And survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. 
or so I thought, until fate had me save Teelan, and death ceased to be an option. Your mother, she did not grant you a dying place. She gave you a future by crossing your path with Teelan's. My helping with Teelan's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Teelan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High End here, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war. No. Empress, now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Empress Melia, so you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. Did you learn anything from Teelan? Hmm. A little. He said that for all the details, we ought to talk to Radzum in Grandel. Meeting should be no problem. Teelan say he sent word to guard a Grandel ramparts to let friends through. Before we visit this Radzum, I have something I wish to discuss with you all. What is matter now? The High Entia who live here now have lost all hope for the future. I have a duty. As the Imperial successor, I must safeguard their future. This will sound selfish, I know, but will you stand with me? Of course I will, Malia. Kino, too. And also Nene. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Right. Off to Grandel we go.
you the chance. That feel like rather pollen mill, but we cannot be reckless. Greetings. We have heard from Teelan that a man called Radsom lives within these walls. Ah, friends of Teelan's, are you? We've been expecting you. Go on, in you get. You're letting us straight through? You don't look particularly concerning, is all. These walls are imposing, but they aren't here for controlling foot traffic. They're to keep savage monsters from having themselves a rampage. Most sensible. Well, we'll be going then. Vikings! Sorry for time taking.
one one just want nap. Splendid Ormu! Oh, it true! Scales so shiny and sparkly! It looks the same as any Ormu, if you ask me. Different subtle. Sure is. Really? Pardon me. Have you come from Companion's Cape, by any chance? We've just come from the laboratory. But we were at the Cape just before that. And was everyone there all right? Yes, it seemed to me. Thank goodness. That's a relief to hear. Is something wrong? You may be aware, but originally, we all lived here together as a group. But then, some left because there are machina here. Exactly. At first, we managed to tolerate each other in relative harmony. Obviously, we had our share of friction. What happened? Well, the final straw was something trivial. The Companions tried all sorts of ploys to retake the capital, but none of the plans succeeded. Many soldiers were lost this way. One Machina had had enough and told them to just give up. And that's when it happened? Yeah. They shouted, if you rust rats hadn't betrayed us, we wouldn't have lost our brethren and our homes in the first place. Things got heated, and then they left and didn't look back. They shouldn't have forgotten that we all lost friends, family, and homes. They're soldiers, ma'am. In the war, they put everything on the line for their country. And so... When their country was taken from them, the extent of their anger and resentment was fully understandable. Yes. Still, we who stayed behind don't bear them any grudges. They protected us all, for a long time regardless of race. And bear in mind, in the end, they didn't cast the Machina out. They left the safety of our walls of their own volition. That's why we pledged that if they chose to return, We'd welcome them back and meet them with a smile. I will do whatever is in my power to make it so. Day day, white eyes, sweating. Inflammation of tear ducts. By the way, we have heard that someone by the name of Ratsum lives here. Ratsum? Yes, he lives over there.
over there. Thank you. Very kind. It was Radsom, actually. He was the one who told the companions to give up their quest. Right. I see. All right. Let's go and see him straight away. Yes, let's. Yes? Hello. 